Hey guys, my name is Gia, and for those that don't know me, I am a vegan bodybuilder. <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> um, I am not a professional YouTuber. I do uh, get a lot of questions, though, through platforms like Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook that are sometimes too long for me to answer in those platforms, so I create YouTube videos. I'm trying to start this series, or I've started this series called ask me anything and I post Saturday mornings at 6 a.m. Pacific time um, and I'll try to post other videos for other questions that you guys have for me as well. So in this video I'm just addressing questions that you all have. So let's go ahead and get started. I have actually gotten a ton of questions so I'm not going to be able to get through all of them. Um, the ones that I'll skip through are the ones that are like, hey girl, da -da -da. hey guys, <laughs> thanks for responding. <laughs> but anywho, uh, first one, uh, I do want I do want to address uh, Rika Chan Strong. Hey friend, uh, dude, you know you're gonna get all manner of cray questions. Hundred, yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna skip through most of them. Okay, or most of those kinds of questions. Um, first question I have here is from Plant Based Shirley. What are your macros when not in prep? Sorry, love, I will never give my macros out to. Um, to anybody and the reason being is because they were built and calculated specifically for me for my body type for my level of activity for my metabolism and for me to share my macros specifically would be really reckless because my macros might be super high um, for other people and you guys might just blow it up or it might be super low and you may go in a deficit for way too long and screw up your metabolism so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to share that with you um, but I will say my last time I did uh, go up to like 200, 2,500 calories, which now that I'm not in prep, my goal is to get up to 3,000. So um, that might be high for a lot of people. And I'm only 5'4". Um, so yeah, I'm, that might be high for a lot of women my, my height. Um, hope that makes sense. Next question, Janessa Dalalana. <laughs> I hope I didn't butcher that too bad. What's your number one piece of advice for gaining muscle while also keeping a low body fat percent? Um, my best piece of advice is to lift progressively, increase your weight progressively higher. By the way, guys, I haven't looked at all of these questions because I want to give my answers as raw as possible. Um, my piece of advice gaining muscle while keeping low body fat is progressively slowly increase your weight over time what I don't want you to do is this is um, for example I don't want you to be curling uh, 10 pounds on one lifting session on like Monday and then on Friday trying to curl 30 pounds your that is an easy formula for um, getting injured because your muscles grow slowly right and so you want to adapt to that that growth by only increasing your weights slowly as well um, and keeping a low body fat percent um, I would say ask yourself why you're so interested in knowing what your body fat percentage is I don't know what my body fat percentage is I don't even know how much I weigh. All I know is how I feel. My hubs is trying to be quiet and leaving for the gym. <laughs> how I feel. Um, do I feel strong? And do I feel like I'm lifting safely? And then I do physique checks in the mirror. Do I like the way that I look? That seems vain, but we all kind of work out to feel good and look good, right? Um, I don't know my body fat percentage. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and then also, the other thing that I would, I know this is numerous pieces of advice, but the other thing that I would have you think about is uh, what food are you putting into your body? If you're trying to keep a leaner looking physique, think about the quality of food. Make sure you're eating your vegetables and not fried vegetable. Uh, French fries is not considered a good like food right to to keep your body fat low and to keep healthy I hope that makes sense um, Joe Fizz uh, 7 hey friend if you could do one thing what would it be if I could do oh and then he goes X um, flexi and gorilla emoji uh, if I could do one thing what would it be if I could do one thing what would it be 
um, one of my goals in life is to um, set my mom up in a way that she no longer has to stress about any of her economic things like you know finances housing all that stuff so if I could do that that would be amazing and it doesn't mean that I'm gonna be I have to be rich to do that it just means I have to plan and be smart about it I know that's not a fitness related answer but that's my answer uh, Weston underscore D Bower favorite city you have traveled to and why New York I really love New York uh, I've ha I have family out there, so that's one reason. But two, I love the 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 summer. It gets super hot, and I love that you can just walk around. I love walking cities. And um, this is gonna sound gross, but you know how New York has that kind of smell. It's a New York smell. While it would smell really gross in other cities, for me, it's you really euphoric because I have good memories in New York. So um, that <laughs> that's kind of subway smell. Yeah, that one. <laughs> um, Patrick underscore jaw underscore Lee. What drives you to lift? Why body build? What is your answer other than to look good and compete? What drives me to lift? Uh, Patrick, I've always been an athletic girl. I've always uh, played sports since I was young. And now that I'm 35, I don't necessarily subscribe to a sport. I don't, I used to play golf a lot. I don't, I'm not a good, <laughs> it wasn't really that great. My little sister though, she's amazing. Um, but lifting is a sport for me. Uh, bodybuilding is a way for me to compete and I love competition, a healthy competition, not that I'm gonna kill you kind. Um, so that's why I I like to uh, lift and bodybuild. And it's also just fun to see that the work that you put in, um, my battery's dying, the work that you can, that put, that you put in, uh, you could see the results, so that's fun. Uh, Daniel, Daniel Joseph Fit. Is there an ideal body fat percent before attempting to put on mass? I don't want to get fat. I kind of just answered that, right? I Sorry for the train. Um, I don't know my body fat percentage. I will never tell somebody to be X percent body fat. You can even look at other YouTube videos where people say they're like 5% body fat, this other guy's 5% body fat, and they look completely different. One looks totally leaner, one looks a little bit fluffier, right? Um, you have to think about what is your definition of fat. Um, and fat sometimes is healthy for you. A good, there is a healthy level of fat um, because it doesn't necessarily mean that you're fat or obese, but rather maybe you have the. It gives you more energy to do your proper works. If that makes sense. Uh, Try athlete uh, Alma underscore Alma Alma say four. How long have you been vegan and what inspired you to become one? <laughs> I became vegan uh, July 2017 and it was because I was, I did my first bodybuilding show and in that process I started really um, doing research about food, where it came from, nutrition, all that stuff and I just kept my mind really open and I just ended up exposing myself to the animal cruelty especially in the States, and it broke my heart. I'm getting goosebumps right now just thinking about it, so I can't talk for it too long unless you want me to get emotional. Um, but that's why uh, that's why I became vegan. So the moment I decided I was going to be vegan, it was easy. That's it. Um, all underscore tell we zero underscore zero, where are you from? All the best for you. I think I'm gonna get this question a lot. I was born in the Philippines. So I feel like I'm gonna get this question every single um, video. Um, and let's see, hybrid underscore athleta, best protein powder. My favorite protein powder is Active Alliance. Um, you can buy them on Amazon. The reason I like them is because the owners are very particular about the ingredients and the processes that they use. It is super smooth. Uh, the vanilla one tastes like powdered half and half. <laughs> when I was a kid, I'd eat it by the spoonful, see? Um, that's what I, that's my favorite protein powder. That's the only one I would swear by. Uh, the American Nightmare underscore 5.0. How them abs look? Friend, I had Christmas vegan tamales. I have abs under my winter fluff. <laughs> 
uh, Steph underscore bro underscore fit. Are you doing a competition next year? You know, I haven't decided yet. Um, the good thing is, with bodybuilding, you can decide to sign up later on, um, but just still remain kind of fit through the process. Um, so no, I don't have one in the schedule, but if I do, don't be surprised. Uh, buzz underscore and underscore bloom. Favorite post-workout snack that you can eat on the go. Oh, so I saved this for you, okay, friend. Um, so normally I like to have um, full meals, real food to keep me sati or stuffed. Um, but if I have to be on the go, man, these lights are hot. Um, if I have to be on the go, my favorite is no cow. It is vegan. Um, and I'll explain to you why in a bit, but I want to show you what it looks like. Um, so it looks like this. This is the peanut butter chocolate one, but you can see there's chunks of <laughs> goodness in it. Um, this is peanut butter chocolate chip bar. So the reason I like it, friend, is because this workout you always need some sort of carbs um, and it has I think 25 grams of carbs I can't see on my viewfinder or screen camera screen whatever um, and it doesn't have that many that much fat and it has a good amount of protein and depending on how hefty my workout was um, I will um, also probably have fruit with it um, or some other um, source of carbs but for my body weight and for what I'm trying to accomplish, 25 grams or 20 grams of protein is good for me for a meal. Um, 25 grams of carbs is decent for me and six grams of fat. Around my workout, the meals around my workout before and after, I try to keep the fat lower. The reason being is because fat will actually um, digest some of the nutrition slower, some of your macronutrients and micronutrients slower. That's the reason I personally like to eat more fat during, as before I go to sleep is because while I'm sleeping, although I don't sleep that much, while I'm sleeping, my body will continue to digest at an even pace. Hope that makes sense. But usually, uh, I will have, if, if I'm not so on the go, I'll usually have a meal ready for me uh, in my car, in a Tupperware, or I'll go straight home and rub-a-dub-dub. I hope that answered your question. Um, Carl underscore lifestyle. Do you know the reason why I don't feel the workout? I don't know what you mean by that, but if you want to put more details in the comments, let me know and I'm happy to answer it. Let me take a guess at what you're trying to ask. Maybe you're trying to ask, uh, you don't feel the workout pain afterwards. Um, everybody's body is really different just because you don't feel the pain afterwards that good muscle pain afterwards doesn't mean you haven't gotten a proper uh, workout I personally like to feel that workout pain so I'll continue to push myself until I know or if I, I feel like I will um, and it may be that you're maybe not doing enough reps maybe you're not doing heavy enough weight maybe you're not using proper form because uh, proper form is so important to making sure you're hitting those target muscles. Now, I don't ever want to judge anybody for working out, but if if somebody's doing a curl, golly gee, let's, oh, you see my baby back? <laughs> if, if somebody's doing a curl, and you're supposed to do curls like this, right? Keeping your elbow um, pinned against your body, for the most part, right? But if you're doing a curl and you're going like this, you're not working out your bicep. I don't know what you're working out, but you're just asking for injury. Um, you're not working out your bicep, and so you won't feel bicep pain tomorrow. Um, but there's a lot of reasons why you may not feel your workout. I'm going to go on a little bit of a tangent, and I may do another video on this, but uh, one of the things that I really ask everybody to do is to think about mind-muscle connection. You hear it a lot, but it's really important because it's you thinking about, is my body is my muscle, that particular muscle group, being activated during my lift? Um, one of the things that I do, guys, um, major tip for you, is look for meditation, um, guided meditation, maybe on YouTube, on Spotify, and look for like meditation body awareness, and just do the meditation. It'll it'll 
guide you through feeling your like thinking about your mind muscle connection a uh, mind body connection which has really helped me um, feel my muscles be activated during my lifts hope that makes sense Okay guys, that's it. Thank you so much for all of your questions. You guys are amazing. If there's anything that I didn't address or you have more questions, just put them down in the comments below. Um, or if I just rambled because I didn't prepare, except for the protein bar, um, and you want me to go deeper into something, put it in the comments below. Um, if this kind of stuff is helpful for you guys, let me know um, by giving this video a thumbs up. Uh, I'll continue to do these videos this is episode number three of series Ask Me Anything. <laughs> um, I'll continue to make these videos for you guys as long as you have the questions. So if the questions stop coming, then I'm not, I'm, I'm going to stop these videos because I only, always only want to put content out there that is helpful for you. So if you guys want to see more videos from me, subscribe. There's a notification bell somewhere, ding, 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 ding. I don't know where it is, but you can click it. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook, you can do so. I'll put it right here. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, guys, Um, let me think. Uh, that's it. I'm going to finish my protein bar, and I'm going to eat. Bye, guys. All right, thanks. Have a good day. See ya.